Hi everyone, I want to welcome you to Summer Start in Transitions. Um, I'm Dawn Dietrich, a professor in the English department and the director of Western Reads. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Western Reads program and the book that we've chosen this year, which all of you have received a copy of today. Um, in the fall, we pulled together a book selection committee to choose a book that all the incoming freshmen and transfer students would read. And we try to choose a book that focuses on some kind of issue that will pertain to many disciplines across campus in a kind of multidisciplinary way. And every year it's different. And depending on the topic of the book, um, different colleges, programs, classes will use the book in any given year. Well, we're, we're very happy to say, after we had a very large committee comprised of students, staff, and faculty this year, that our choice for the read is Ta-Nehisi Coates, Between the World and Me. Um, we had many engaging discussions about this book and about why it was a relevant choice for our campus and for our community and for our country at this time. Um, after speaking with Coates' agent, we found out that over 200 universities are considering using his book for their common read programs this year because it speaks so powerfully to our current cultural moment. So I wanted to tell you um, a little bit about Western Reads programming and what we do and what the expectations for you with this, with this book are. Um, so you've all received a copy of this book and you want to make sure you bring it back with you in the fall because it is going to be used in all of the English 101 classes as well as in many other courses and colleges and programs across campus um, this year. We do programming across the year. Every quarter we'll have selected speakers, panelists, films, events happening and you'll be invited to all of them whether you're in a class that is discussing the book or not these events are open to the public and to the community. Um, in many um, cases we also invite students to um, smaller lunches so they can meet authors or um, experts or visiting scholars or speakers or writers on topics that are central to the book's themes and really give you a chance to engage one-on-one -on -one with a lot of these um, individuals who are thinking about these ideas. Um, Ta-Nehisi Coates, for those of you who don't recognize his name, is an American intellectual and a writer for The Atlantic. Coates uh, addresses the book to his 15-year-old son and talks to him about his own upbringing during the 1970s and reflects on his son's place as one of the millennial generation in the current cultural moment. He looks very specifically at, at race relations and what his hopes and dreams and fears are for his son from this African-American perspective. So this fear, this deep-seated fear of bodily harm never leaves. In fact, it, ma it marks African-American life and may be the premier marker you know, of, of the black experience under white supremacy in this country, perhaps everywhere. I'm seeing people that want to live free. You know, I'm seeing people that, that want to live independent of that fear. I'm seeing people who have been boxed in by American policy to live within that fear. And I see people who want to be free. One of the arguments of the book is that you, you are your body. The people who do damage to our bodies do, in fact, do damage to our minds and our souls. And the act of liberation is ultimately always physical. Even reading is a physical act. Um, you know, I, I'm going to assume that uh, many of our students who will be reading this book have not come anywhere close to uh, having these types of experiences. And I think because of that, it makes the book essential to read because although our students may not have had these experiences, uh, these are very real situations and lifestyles um, and um, struggles that go on uh, within our society. In particular, uh, Tanahesi is, is looking at it from the perspective of a black male in America. And so I think that it really gives us a sense of what those struggles are. I think a lot of my students have felt like this, this problem has been solved in some way or that we have made such significant progress in this regard that these discussions become in some way uh, superfluous or unnecessary. And I think that this book really brought home the fact that these discussions are profoundly necessary. And even here in, in this, um, you know, in the 21st century where a lot of, for a lot of my students, these, these conditions are historical in some way. And so for, and 
so to to be made aware that these are not historical problems but are contemporary problems that are um, that are intrinsic to and, and, and vital to our contemporary discourse I think this is something that the book really brings home in a powerful way and it makes it a very necessary 